does it take to maintain history? They're caulking the windows, the oh, new glasses in, and then they caulk the sides. Well, it ain't easy. Are you afraid of heights? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's why you wear this thing. <laughs> well, here's a look as we shadow the renovation at the New York Fifth Avenue Presbyterian Church. So, how how high would you say we are now? Like a guesstimate. Maybe 75 feet, maybe, yeah. Wow, maybe 175 are, feet. Unless you're up here, you'll never even notice these. Yeah, wow. I can actually still feel my feet shaking right now. <laughs> This is, the, this is the room that this guy did all the carving of the stones and then he put his own face in it. wonder what the hands up mean. Like, don't bother me. I'm done. <laughs> it's a story that begins in 1875 when the roads were paved with dirt and the neighbors were a little less glamorous. The flags of Rockefeller Center and St. Patrick's Cathedral and Cartier and... <laughs> All the rich, expensive stores. Yeah. Renovation began last summer, totaling more than $15 million. And the congregants, they're not just footing the bill, they're searching for the perfect brownstone. One of the reasons brownstone was so popular in the 1870s is it was cheap and it was local and it was easy to get. So now a lot of those quarries have run dry. And so when you need to replace brownstone, it's not that easy to do. So what we do is reclaim brownstone from buildings and churches that have been taken down, or we will source it from different parts of the world. And some of the brownstone that's going up now is sourced from China. It's not what you expect to hear. Many churches in New York City are shutting their doors as real estate costs soar and memberships continue to decline. But something's different about this church. This church is actually growing. We're a 2200 member congregation. I'll confess the growth rate is small, but there are still new people coming in every year, being part of the ministries that have been on this corner for 140 years. So we feel very fortunate. We feel that the work we do is needed and supported. And really the brownstone restoration means we're not going anywhere. We're staying here. We feel very confident we'll be here in another 140 years. As always, tweet me your thoughts at Diana Blass or the show at Chasing News.